Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this uh, High Elves campaign, sorry. So right now we're trying to defend against scaling, there's nothing else to defend against. Oh, I just clicked and it's a massive, oh my god. Hang on, I serve the key. there we go. Okay, so I did gain a lot of stuff, hopefully this will clear up, usually this clears up in a little bit. Hang on, it, yeah it's slow, but it's okay, okay. Handing it. There are lots of stuff here to. Oh, gee. Okay, publish surplus. That is interesting. Battle reports. We had a lot of battles in this one. And of course, deaths. Enemies. Rank gained. Lots of rank gains. Look at that. Always constructed. Equipment gained. Traits gained. Factions destroyed. Safe free. And the puppets of K is amazing. I destroyed two this turn. What do you require? This hero has not moved, and the next notification is just to turn. By the way, I don't know why my technology rate is so low. I don't know why it's so low. Really don't know why. I'll have to check, because this this used, used to not be like that. I mean, I can probably increase it fairly simply with just some, some traits and stuff. We'll see about that. Like, upkeep cost, I have the ritual going. Lost cargo is excellent. So I'll probably just have everything for now. This is a province, so I have to conquer it. Yeah, and as soon as I capture it, I mean, this is what? This is a gate? It isn't a gate. It isn't a gate. So that's the only thing. And those are suitable places, so the only unsuitable places is this, are these. And even there it's like more construction time and recruitment duration, less income and stuff. But it doesn't mean that it's completely useless, so I mean... How can I assist you? It's over a better mechanic, I would say. Defender of the Asser. So I'm gonna get all of this. That is nice. These, this girl is gonna go over there. We gotta see what this is gonna do. But yeah, let's um, let's end our turn. I'm doing just nicely right now. I'm gonna have some problems with upkeep as soon as I uh, end up recruiting all of these units, this next new army. But that should be just fine. Maybe. And I think I can actually um, confederate with Nagaritha here. That would just give me the Unicorn Gate and that other city, which is really not that. Uh, troubling. Oh! Now that's a problem. Tyrannoch is engaging. I would have to, to get a better army there. I mean, I'm getting some replacements, but... Unless I destroy the Phoenix Gate and then I go back... I think I can do that. I think I can destroy the Phoenix Gate and then go back over there and I'll still find it in, tr in time. We'll see. Now that we'll you are here, that. I will hear your words. And these pirates, I think they will like military access. Actually, military access is something that I can give them. Yeah, they gave me some money, so that's cool. Economic power weak. And these guys are fine, I mean, that's exactly what they wanted. They just want to push forward. Greetings. The Phoenix Court. Oh, these guys might words. be declaring war. Yeah, they just declared war. It's all right. I'll I'll have some defense against them. So these guys are going to attack me. Yeah, for sure. Of course, they're going to attack that garrison in our place with all of this. Hopefully, not right now, so that I can attack them. And yeah, that's cool. As long as I can defend there, it's it's quite fine. Oh, he's going to attack my failure. He was wounded. Okay, this guy is going to try to reach Lorthurn. There we go. He's been abusing his position using the seal on Manile. Personal documents to enhance his forward and prestige. Exposing him would condemn the men, perhaps there are ways this can be worked to the king's advantage. So expose him publicly, it will give me uh, influence. I'm right now not requiring any influence. 
The men they are sealed in the royal presence. Okay, if I do nothing, I get public order. Honestly, yeah, it doesn't seem this is too much. But I'll do nothing. I'll get happy puppies. I'll just manage to get everyone really happy, and that's it. Buildings constructed at havens and other stuff. I got unit recruitment all together. And look at that. The research is now much better because it's at 88%. There we go. So yeah, let me see if I can actually you called? get a trade. Your last for glory will be your undoing. Peace treaty? No. No. Okay, so I can get away from that. By the way, uh, I don't know if they will take too long reaching, but if they arrive there, come on. Yeah, this this is quite well defended. It's quite well defended. It's fine. Silver helms, some Tiranoc chariots, even. That is pretty cool. And I so can't reach the there in time unless I siege the Phoenix Bonus Gate request. here. Shield against the darkness. I cannot reach there in time. I mean, that would never happen. So it doesn't matter there. I'm just gonna For attack the Phoenix queen. Gate and siege it up. Oh, one. There we go. Now they have the War Hydra and all that stuff. What I, I really want here to is to encircle and wait for them to attack me. There we go. And right here, here's, here's two things that I can actually do. I can actually go just here or try to deplo deploy over there. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go here, try to catch that stuff. Maybe he'll attack me or whatever. I think I'm going to recruit one hero here. It can't recruit any units, right? Yeah, because I have nothing here to recruit. But I have lots of good stuff here on Eagle. So I can recruit a Lord just to get... Edward Cosphere. This is going to be missile damage and range. Campaign movement range, speed. That's interesting. Mana upkeep for Dragon units. Yeah, but I won't have the time to recruit that. Missile damage. Missile damage for archers, for anything that is actually firing. Chariot and Eagle Claw bolt throwers. I don't think I like that. Yeah, I think I would actually get that other one. The Resolute. Or this Hawkeye. I mean, that's 60 influence. I really don't want that. I want nothing like that. I just want this. Or the ones with 15. I think there's one really cool. Yeah, this one with missile damage would be nice. But I like this. Just leadership. I serve the Phoenix King. Entering the city. There we go, let's go Eagle Gate and let's recruit some units. Uh, probably Lothan Sea Guard with shields. There we go, and I'll have to use the global recruitment there. So, something like this would be in order. Yeah, that should be fine. Then I can just move in. Yeah, because with this and the any garrison, it will be easy. Yeah, so that's precisely what I'm going to do. You As are sieging. That's 15. Where now? And I don't have enough money for that. But I have enough to do this. Where are you? So I wish I would give him some dro moon dragons or sun dragons, honestly. Yeah, I think I would hire those. But I can't yet, so I'll have to recruit like this. Some Illyrian Reavers. And more Lord than Sea Gods. I mean, there we go. That would be a good army to deal with them. Yeah, we're cool. Given you are going to capture Send that you. place. There we go. This would be to wound. 
It's alright. Lord of the Phoenix Court. I can just attack there, I guess. I will see to it. I cannot actually attack or defend there. Honor calls. Never. I mean, he can actually just attack this guy, and he'll give no. this as reinforcements. All right. Ready so if serve. I move in closer, Moving like up. here, can they actually engage? Will they engage? Let me just see that. Attack! Okay, they backed away. So that is excellent. Please. Since they backed away, I, I'm just perfectly in Garrison. in time with that. That is cool. He can't move into Trolemia, and even if he does, it's already well defended, so it's quite fine. You must restore order. Okay, so that's okay. I'm getting that. This guy is gonna go over there. There, uh, what else? I got a new army there, but that's because this one is just no exploring approach. here. No. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna need these guys to attack me. And then I'll attack here, and I'll attack here, and that's it. And this guy is gonna capture everything there, so that's quite okay. Yeah. It's quite okay. Let me just check diplomacy. So these guys Valiant are at war Lord. with me? I don't know. Bow before the rightful lords of this land. You insult me. They don't like that. I guess these the guys are quite fine. Look upon my eternal form. Nope, they don't like me. Submit my sarcophagus is currently empty. Oh, Do you wish that's cool. To feel it? That's cool. Defender so this guy can active. still recruit, and I don't know what he's doing. He's probably just Do not displease me. corrupting here. Okay, I don't have the money for this one, but it will have to be this Elven Gardens and then Elven Court. There we go. Uh, let me check this. Shouldn't be too much. How about that? End of turn. Yeah, I guess I can end the turn now. I won't have too much trouble for now. So I guess that it's cool. Like, yeah. Let me just see what Tyrannarch is gonna do. Saturn in the Siege, the Phoenix Gate. That's cool. Let's see their reaction there. Well, they're going behind my... That's nice. They're not going to reach her, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so they're going to follow this one around. That's nice. Let's see the Scourge. Yep! Precisely what I wanted. I wanted to do this. So, he has two monsters, which are War Hydras. They're really cool and they have some fiery breaths and stuff. So these Bolt Throwers, time to test them properly. Other than that, he has very... He completely lacks anything that is actually against uh, archers or good against archers. So, I mean, I'm feeling pretty confident with that. Especially with Tyrion being able to deal with them. So, I might be. might have the upper hand on this one. Especially with all the archer fire and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking really well. As long as I can defeat these war hydras, I'm doing just fine. So let's see about that. This should be the interesting battle right now. Oh, it's actually in a, oh, an amazing place to defend. I just wish that uh, if I can destroy the war hydras, then I can attack the, the city for, for sure. Let's see about that.
Come on. Now this is a heavy, heavy army actually. So we're gonna have to be careful about that. Still, I'm pretty confident. Uh, like this initial army will get toasted and then there's no general here. And my ballistas will just have to fight that with those monsters. You know, it's quite fine. My phoenix will probably be able to get a couple of shots off on those halberds, you know. That is interesting as well. So yeah, there we go. Now he is on the attacking higher ground there, but he's the attacker. So I'm feeling very confident I can put my ballistas here. Oh, that would be excellent. I can put the ballistas there. Eagle claw. Well, the eagle claw. But these are, you know, bolt throwers. So they're ballistas. There we go. Very cool. Very cool. So... Spearman. Spearman can just defend like this. I'm gonna pull them like that. There we go, just so they can defend properly. Very nice. Without fail. Archers! For duty! There we go. Archers! Now this is no longer uh, an amazing situation here for my units. I mean they really need to be able to hit all of those guys without any troubles. Noble. I mean this guy is actually on a great eagle so I'm pretty fine with that as well. And I have this flame spire so I'm gonna have to do White lions. use them properly. White lions, I'm just gonna put him here. Make sure that I have some heavy infantry to fight there. I mean, group it's 2. Yeah, I guess they are well positioned. Silver the Silver Helms, I'm gonna need them hiding. Can they hide completely? It shall be done. Can I hide them completely? Come on. Tell me you can hide. Really? I can only hide here? Yeah, they can only hide there, or they can actually hide here. I think that's the best point. There we go. It's better to do that, guys. This guy, I'm gonna have him here. No, he doesn't have any long-range units or anything. So let's go. There, he's coming. Now this is a dangerous army, but this one will be the target of the bombardment. Or the dual sword infantry, honestly. These guys can rip me apart. I guess it's actually the best thing that I can do for that. Hydra! Woo! It's amazing. How much is my Phoenix? It's much less. So these guys, for now I'm gonna put them like this. And then I'm gonna change that for the other outcome. Yeah, I wish I would actually just charge these guys with my cavalry and maybe force those guys into that. There we go. Yeah, because it seems like he wants to charge in over there, but for now it's cool. Like, no matter what, I'll defend here. I mean, if he's going to deploy over there and then move in, I'll just deploy these guys here. Which appears to be his idea. I know that he has the upper hand here, so I'm gonna be very careful with this battle. I'm not gonna advance anyone, you know, towards them or anything. Like he still has enough archer units to to deal with me. I mean, this is a heavy infantry unit, so I have to make sure that my archers get some good it shots. Yeah, these bolt throwers, I think they will have to deploy like this. Just so that they're properly deployed. Group 2, I'm gonna have to do like this. Group 3, thank you, you're gonna go like this. There we go, these guys are gonna go over here, and you sir, you're gonna go over here. 
Noble. This noble I'm gonna have him there. This flame spire, well I'm gonna need him. These bolt throwers can't attack? Barely. He'll be able to attack targets here, which is gonna be excellent. And my flame spire, honestly, I'm gonna put it here, because she's gonna get as much damage as possible inside of those guys. Those cold one knights, honestly, I just want to make sure. Are they uh, threatening? They are not, so... I mean, it's quite nice. He considers the halberd infantry, and even the greatswords, damaging. There we go, that is excellent. Those are some good shots. So I can just move this girl here. here. These guys can hit. Yeah, they can. So... Let's attack it. This is good, actually they're luring that fire. There we go, we're gonna start hitting that. There we go. That phoenix, I'm gonna put it here. So these guys are hitting that war hydra, which is exactly what I need there. I need to hit it as much as possible, because that's the danger unit. Come on. Just hit those guys, will you? There we go. Nicely done. Okay, those guys are going to quit very soon. They, these three units are going to get destroyed just by the archers. But I need to destroy this Hydra, which is not really happening. And the other Hydra will be able to fire. And there they go. There are their shots. That's dangerous. I gotta hit this other Hydra. Come on. Yeah, that is nice. Lots of archer fire there. That is cool. One of the Hydras is barely confident, so she's gonna fire. Fight and die, actually. I'm gonna tell him to attack. And you're just gonna use that up. There we go, one Hydra is losing. There we go, let's attack there. That's nice, and you guys, now let's fire it. Let's hit that up. Okay, let's hit this. Let's hit that. Let's hit over there. You guys, you're gonna hit here. Let's attack these guys. Shall we? Actually, you sirs. We will obey. We will obey. There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So far... Oh, this monster got there. Okay, so I gotta be careful with this. Got to it. There we go. Let's actually charge there. I mean, they're gonna charge over here. Let's go. Let's charge this halberd infantry. Those Hydras actually didn't manage to do properly. These guys are gonna kill it. Yeah, they are going to. This guy is maybe gonna do some damage, so I gotta move these guys. Do full damage there. This guy, I can use this, and I can use this. That is nice. Let's have him attack the Hydra. These guys, they're doing some good damage. I mean, that's proportionately because of that. But look at this. It is done. It is done. So now I have to pursue all of those guys. There we go. This guy can maybe control some of those. I don't know if they can kill it or not. 
But so far it's quite amazing. I mean, I'm gonna kill this guy, I'm gonna kill it as well there. Yeah, two sword infantry and other units and other stuff. Well, there we go. Let's push here. You are going to push there. 14 units. One unit. Yeah, I guess I'm going to go over here. It's amazing how many units I can, I could get there. I didn't lose too much, but it's quite nice. I mean, look at that. These guys are dying. This guy's still losing a little bit. Now these guys are attacking. Come on, go on. Let's actually destroy the missile troops. Instead of destroying these guys. I mean, where is the other... Yeah, I really want those. I don't know where the other Hydra is. But these guys, they can't survive. Less than 10, I guess, they die. Enemy Lord unit is dead, and the other ones are too far away for me to catch. Actually, I guess this will have to do. Alright. Still killing some of these black guards and stuff. I mean, as long as I get the very good units, I'm confident there. He's not going to replenish these guys, so I will. What is this? Okay. There we go. So, as you can see, my infantry is actually pretty cool against all of this infantry. I mean, these guys can withstand the damage as long as they're guarded, you know, as long as they're here, pretty well against until my archers kill everything else. And my ballistas did a good job. They did a good job. I'm proud of them. You know, first a couple of hits off on their um, infantry units, then hitting that Hydra, getting it to half health. I mean, half health is about two thirds of this one, so I mean, it's pretty cool. Like, this Flame Spire Phoenix has like 5,000 or 6,000 hit points. So, that is excellent. But right now, it means that he'll you know, have some troubles. Yeah, look at that. Men remaining 332. I can actually attack and win this. You know, just my archers and ballistas would be able to do a lot of damage to their gate units. So let me see if that is something that I that is in my interest right now. So let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm actually so proud of this army. This is a nun. You know, it's not a, a massively, you know, uh, upgraded army or anything. It's not a massively dangerous army to what he had. Effective, let's say, army. But they did so many casualties. I mean, look at the, the casualties that the uh, the ballistas still de uh, did. You know, conf the eagle, eye, uh, eagle bolt throwers did, even considering that I was mostly targeting a Hydra. So I was predicting that maybe one of the Hydras would get it, uh, you know, a lot. So let's see. Come on. Uh, this loading time just takes like 30 seconds more than expected because I always end up chatting with you guys and explaining what I'm thinking and then I have nothing else for the last 30 seconds. 
it actually provides a good outcome of hey let me d let me really check how many kills I got and uh, everything how everyone behaved here that is excellent and then suddenly I have that of uh, that problem of I have nothing else to talk about and it's still ongoing like can you imagine two dragons here instead of one of the archers you know and, and just lord and sea guard units with all those archers as well I could get an amazing army of just missile troops. So let's really look at what happened here. 3,500, that is excellent. And I gain a rank almost, almost. But this is a very important battle. So now let me see. You see, he'll have two Black Arc, very depleted. One, two, three shield units. One War Hydra and one Cold One Knights. That's what he'll have. And I'll have units replenished. Like, especially my most important units. I mean, precisely what I want there. So I'll be able to take the Phoenix Gate, I'll be able to take that other place, proceed with the conquest, and I'll still defend. Might mean that I'll actually have this just fine. Well, he got that one, but he's not going to get this one, right? Doesn't seem like he's moving towards that. I think he's controlling it, so I'll have to go away. Slightly. Wait, what brings you here? Let's see. What do you really want? No, I'm not gonna go for military alliances with this guy. That is for sure. Scaling, it's time for you to make a move. If they would attack, that would be so excellent. No, they actually are retreating. So I'm going to attack them and kill them. That's going to be excellent. And finally, no threats with that. He was failing. That's cool. He was not wounded, though. Okay, he's still on the move, but I'll be able to catch him up. Like, this guy is going to move around. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attack both and, and kill them both. That is excellent. This guy is going to siege. And that's cool. Courtiers are often expected to send large stretches of time at court, leaving or operating on the suffocating political intrigue of Lothar. The message of the things are able to wave through the lodges of the courtiers, disseminate information that helps or hinders them. Likewise, the king can make life comfortable for such a courtier, so extremely unpleasant, always with with him. So, so descent, more influence, pay for improved lodging. Spread messages of unity, or leave them be. I like this, honestly, but I also would like to have a little bit more influence. But look at the money that I'm earning. Oh, that's because my capital is in the siege, the upkeep. That is fine. Uh, could I get a little bit more influence? Yeah, so I'm gonna pay. There we go. Ready for duty. Okay. That's cool, she gained income from buildings and construction costs. I'm having some raids and all that stuff. That's okay. Got population surplus and some other stuff. Regional raiding. Buildings constructed. The Shrine of Assyrian. So I think in terms of technology, I can already go for this. No, I need the Elven Court. Yeah, that's right. And here it's to get the Tower of Mages. That would be nice. Okay, so what is that I'm gonna do? First of all, let's attack Port Alistair here. I would auto resolve, by the way, guys, but I have lost some bolt throwers in the past with these auto resolves, so I'm gonna have to fight it. But that'll be on the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.